Good morning, good morning. I hope you are well. Good morning, welcome. Welcome to day 30 of the Soul Detox Fast. Welcome to day 30. Glory to God in the highest, which is like day 10. So good morning. Good morning, Doxa. Good morning, Annette. Good morning, Nady. Good morning, Sumi. Good morning, Pastor Wendy. Good morning, Josephine. Good morning, Brother Fuller. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Benny. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Show. It's the twelfth of. It's the twelfth of December. Sorry, it's the twelfth of January, which means that we and we finish on the twelfth of Feb. So that's 30 days to go, isn't it, Dr. Ruth? Good morning, Yetende. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Dami. Good morning, uh, Dr. Ruth. Confirm that with me. No. Day 40 is that we, we said you're going from the 3rd to the 12th of February. So this is recounting now. Somebody help Dr. Ruth and I with the math. We're currently disagreeing. Anybody have that? We started on the 3rd of January. When is your day 40? Somebody with a quick math. Who's there with a the quick math? It's... Oh, everybody does math a bit differently. We're going to pray for the math grace to come upon us. Sue agrees. Sue agrees with Dr. Ruth. Um, Dami agrees with me. Oh, dear. Anybody else? We're the mathematicians in the house. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um. Two things before I hand over to Reverend Ade. I had a dream last night, um, and in the dream, it was it was me, but it wasn't me. Does that make sense? Um, someone handed me a good amount of money. I knew there was a transfer somewhere, but I knew it was a provision from the Lord that had come. That had come, and. Um, what is what then happened is I had a, a different scene. I met myself again and I was dressed in what was in the dream, the latest exercise gear. And I looked really good. Um, exercise gear. And I heard the word of the Lord say, Don't be a waster. Don't be a waster. And so I woke up, gave God praise, and I was like, okay, God, what's that dream about? And the Lord began to speak to me that in his mercy, he has blessed people previously, but people didn't have, don't have much to show for what he has given them um, because they have wasted it on things that did not have value, did not make impact, did not have eternal value or impact. And then we moved beyond that. And he said, in this time, he's going to be blessing us with uh, resources. He's our source. He's going to bless with the resource, but we must come against the spirit of a waster, not to be a, a squanderer, a squanderer. How many of you sometimes feel like you don't have anything to show for what has come into your hand? It's not like you don't have a job. It's not like money doesn't come in, but there's just not been much to show for it and the lord says he's going he is going to deal with the spirit of the waster and the squanderer he's dealing with the spirit of the waster and the squanderer he's dealing with the spirit of the waster and the squanderer in the name of the lord jesus in proverbs chapter 21 verse 20 
Thank you for those that. So it's not day 30. Sorry, guys. It's day 31. Tomorrow you can rejoice about your day 30, but we do finish on the 12th. Okay. Awesome. All right. Proverbs 21, verse 20. Maybe I'm ahead of you guys. Um, I'm going to read from the Passion Translation. And the Passion Translation, I'll let you get there. Uh, I, I keep in mind that I'm not the one leading, but this is the word of the Lord to us. And I will do this now. We get out of the way. Get out of the way. It says this in wisdom's house, you'll find delightful treasures and the oil of the Holy Spirit. But the stupid squander what they've been given. But the stupid squander what they've been given. Would you type in the comment section? I refuse to be stupid. Come on, type it. I refuse to be stupid. I refuse to be stupid. In wisdom's house, you will find delightful treasures and the oil of the Holy Spirit. But the stupid squander what they've been given, what they've been given, what they've been given, what they've been given. Firstly, I want you to repent where you've been a waster in the past, where you've wasted opportunities, time, money, gifts, talents, uh, 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 ideas. I want you to ask the Lord for mercy. I want you to approach the throne of grace this morning. Uh, though, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us together. Abba, I'm sorry. I know that the first thing we should do is to give thanks. So, so we say thank you. We thank you for bringing us. We have now established that we are in day 31. So we thank you, Abba, for day 31 of the fast. We give you praise. We thank you, God, that you are speaking to your children. You're bringing correction. You're bringing alignment, my God. You are refreshing us. You're breathing into us and you're breathing upon us. We see, God, that you haven't asked us to seek you in vain. So, Abba, I take the time to say thank you. I say thank you. I also ask, Spirit of God, that you give each one afresh the spirit of grace and supplication in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give them utterance in the place of prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that you release that spirit of grace and supplication. Give us, oh God, the grace to press further into you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, would you go ahead and repent would you repent in the name of the lord jesus uh, where you've been wasteful wasteful of your time of your resources of your accesses if you've been wasteful i want you to say lord i'm sorry i repent in the name of the lord jesus uh, i repent in the name of the lord jesus uh, where i've been wasteful where i've been wasteful in my spending <clears throat> where i've spent more on my physical body than on things of eternal and imp of the things that that make Make eternal impact where I haven't been wise in my with my opportunities and my accesses I ask for your mercy God and I repent where I have partnered with the devourer and the waster to waste the blessings of my life I ask for your mercy in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord have mercy upon us my God let the blood of Jesus Mando kosura baba that settles a uh, debt, settle the debt in the area of waste uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, we thank you, Abba. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Now that we have repented of that, I want us now in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, to declare Maribo a deliverance from the spirit of the waster. Uh, and the spirit of uh, uh, and the spirit of squander in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I don't have time to give you all the scriptures, so I'm going to just pick one, and maybe another time I will um, have the time to go into it. Isaiah chapter forty nine. Would you go there? Let's use that as our prayer this morning concerning this. Isaiah chapter 40. Now, you know what? I, I may not have the time to teach on this during this fast, but I would write it up as I've done previously so that you have it to pray through. Is that okay? Is that okay? Fabulous. So go to Isaiah chapter 49. And we will go from verse... 
Isaiah 49. You're welcome, Tony. Isaiah 49. From verse 15, the Bible says, oh, no, no, let's go to verse 14. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. If you're asleep, if you've just turned Zoom on to hear the prayers and you're not really engaging, don't do that today. Don't do that today. Wake yourself up. Turn that light on. Get out of your duvet. Yes. Yes. Open your window if you need the cold breeze to come on your face. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nurse and child that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget. Yes. Yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have engraven you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Verse 17. Your builders make haste. Your destroyers and those who laid you waste go out from you lift up your eyes around and see they all gather they come to you as i live declares the lord you shall put them all on as an ornament you shall bind them on as a bride does surely your waste and your desolate places and your devastated land surely now will be too narrow for your inhabitants and those who swallow you will be far away in the name of the lord jesus the children of your bereavement will yet in your ears, the place is to narrow me, make room for an exile and put away. But who has brought up these? Behold, I was left alone from where have all this come? Uh, thus says the Lord God, behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations and raise my signal to the peoples and they shall bring your sons in their arms and your daughters shall be carried on your shoulders. Kings shall foster your, shall be your foster fathers and the queen your nursing mothers. With your faces to the ground, they shall bow to you and lick the dust of your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. Can the prey be taken from the mighty or the captives of a tyrant be rescued? For thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with wine. Then all flesh shall know that I am the Lord, your savior and your redeemer the mighty one of Jacob in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to hear the word of the Lord. You are not forsaken, but this is our prayer. You're going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, let my builders, those that will build me up, make haste to come to me. And also let those that are destroyers, wasters, squanderers in the name of the Lord Jesus, whether in the form of a spirit or in the form of people or connections, my rebecos or whatever form the destroyer may be in my life, habits that are not of God, habits, personal habits that are not of God, learned behavior that are not of God, that are destroyers and wasters. So whether it's a spirit, a learned behavior that is of you or a connection you may have with a person, a company, whatever it is, in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is the Christ, you're praying, they will go away from you. They will come out of you in the name of Jesus. Do you understand that prayer? Do you understand that prayer? Do you understand that prayer? I hope you understand it. You're saying, God, let my builders come. See, if you have builders and you have wasters, then you will go nowhere because they will cancel each other out. But you're saying in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is the Christ, let my builders come to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let them make haste to come in the name of the Lord Jesus and let the destroyers, the time wasters, the money wasters, the talent wasters, the gift wasters, the opportunity wasters. Maroso Kuramanto for the Lord highlighted that even though he will bless, you must get rid of the wasters and the squanderers in the name of the Lord Jesus. My God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is the Christ, let our builders make haste and let our destroyers and those who 
who laid us waste go out from us in the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Abba, I pray that you will lift up your hand according to your word and raise your signal to the peoples in the name of Jesus to bring what is ours to us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Abba, contend with those who contend with us. Save us. Save those that belong to us in the name of Jesus. Save what belongs to us in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray according to your word, make our oppressors eat their own flesh. Let them be drunk with their own blood as with wine in the name of the Lord Jesus, that everyone may know that you are our Savior, our Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob in the name of the Lord Jesus. We call our builders and we send out and cast out the wasters, the devourers, the squanderers out of us, whether it be in a form of a spirit being, whether it be in the form of habits that we personally have had, learned behavior that is causing waste and squander in our lives. Whether it's in the form of connections, or covenants we may have made with individuals or companies. By the authority in the name of Jesus, we declare no more waste, no more squandering. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. We declare in the name of Jesus, a building, no more stagnation. Everything that has caused holes in our lives, waste in our pockets, waste. We declare no more in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is the Christ. Uh -huh. E mando ko se te le ba. E ba ba ba. I de rebe sokura ma mando rebe ke sutalaya. E zanda dada ba konda dana nama ande rebe korra ba ba. I rababa surre mendo kunandi kadeki ananaso. Enda rababa ba ba kande re de rebe rababa. No more waste in the name of the Lord Jesus. Scripturally, there are different things that attracts that spirit of waste. And, uh, and squander in our lives. Uh, um, and I'll take the time to show you one of the way, one of them is how you deal with your finances uh, uh, towards God, the tithe, the offering. One of it is uh, how you are with God's house. Do you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? One of it is laziness. Are you slack? Are you slack in your hands? Are you slack? Are you slack? Are you disobedient to God? If you read Judges chapter, what was it, Abba? Judges chapter six, you will see that the children of Israel, when they were disobedient, God would God raised the media. So every time they planted, their land was fruitful. They planted, they had harvest, and the Midianites will come and will take over their harvest. I pray for you that the Lord will show you areas of disobedience that is causing the waster to waste your harvest. That's so that you can repent and pluck the hole in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you like I pray for myself. Your builders will come in the name of Jesus. Your builders will come and they will build you up and waste this one wanderers, devourers, leave your life from today in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see one amen. I hope that everybody else said amen where they were. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time wasters. My God. Things that will engage you mindlessly. Things that engage you mindlessly with no productivity at the end. The Lord deliver you. The Lord give you discernment to know whether this is a productive work or a productive relationship or, or this is a dead end. May the Lord deliver you from dead end ends in the name of the Lord Jesus. No longer will you squander opportunities, 
time, money, gifts, or talents in Jesus' name. And I know the Lord is on that because the Lord also laid another prayer. I'm going to call her name out. Uh, graced. The Lord gave her dreams. She woke up and the verses that were um, put on her was Psalm 191 verse 3 and Psalm 124. And she's prayed over it. She was praying over you guys as well. Uh, the main prayer point was to dwell in the house of the Lord and deliverance. Uh, but also the Lord de declared and prayed through her escape from evil and calamity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord deliver you from the snare of the fowler. She sent it to me that the, the, the Lord highlighted that the Lord, uh, uh, the, the snare of the fowler. And actually she said she woke up with the phrase caught in the snare of the fowler, caught in the snare of the fowler. And if you study that, the snare of the fowler is that which was, is, is, um, is planted or a, a, a trap to to capture birds to capture birds and as i was meditating on what she sent me the lord said this that what he's doing everything that is stopping you from soaring every plan of the enemy to trap you from soaring the lord delivers you from it in the name of jesus nothing will hold you down in the name of Jesus. Nothing will ground you or cage you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord speaks deliverance over you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every, every trap of the enemy to hold you down, every snare of the fowler, I decree an escape in the name of Jesus. As God's daughter has prayed for you, I come alongside and I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for myself. Every snare, every trap in the name of Jesus is broken in the name of Jesus. You will mount up with wings as eagles in the name of Jesus. You will run, not grow weary. You will walk and shall not faint, but you will mount up with wings as eagles in the name of the Lord Jesus. You shall not be caught in the name of the, every deception that is aimed at trapping you. The my God give you discernment to expose it. The word of the Lord says no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, we condemn. This is the heritage of the Lord for their righteousness is of God in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you dwell in the house of the Lord, you have deliverance, you have escape of, from evil and calamity because you bear the name of the Lord. He's not just your refuge, he's your shield, he's your dwelling place in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have the power to trample over every calamity and evil in whatever form. This is what the Lord has given to his daughter. I enforce, I declare in the name of Jesus and I partner with it in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, amen and amen. All right, without any further ado, I'm going to bring a Reverend Ade. Is there with me? Hello. Uh, hallelujah. Hello. Glory to the most. I was, I was kind of like Reverend. going, let's, let's just keep going on that. Um, Sorry? I said I was I was almost saying like let's keep going on let's keep going on that um but yeah thanks for having me guys um good morning good morning good morning good morning I re I really have been blessed um by the prayer so far um because look ain't nobody got time for that right <laughs> nobody has time for time wasters and this you know time is so are so crucial resources are so crucial in the day that we are in that is important that we have um we steward everything well amen um this this season answers to great stewardship and growth is a function of stewardship you know um one of the one of the um i, I was sharing with someone that the way the lord seeks success is good and faithful Amen. Is good and faithful, and part of faithfulness is good stewardship. Um, you know, He gives us the raw materials and expects us to steward it from raw into what they're meant to be. And so, I pray that over you in Jesus' name that you'll be able to steward everything that the Lord has given you um, this year into growth in Jesus' name. That the entrance of the word will, will mature into light in the name of Jesus. You know, that's stewardship. When the word comes on the inside of you, you steward it from just being a word into light, into something that brings about a revelation, you know, so that you can see God in every area 
of your life in the name of Jesus, that even at, at your five loaves of bread and two fish will be stewed into something that will not only feed you, but feed the multitude in Jesus' name. And whatever is left will be packed up and actually used for more good in the name of Jesus. I pray that what's in your hand, you would not see it as too small, but you would see that in it is the is the is the is the power to actually lead a nation. The rod in your hand will bring great deliverance to many in Jesus' name. Five stone will be, and all you need is one to slay the giants in Jesus' name. I pray that whatever you know you see, consider is oh, I only have this and it's enough for me. That God will open your eyes on how you can steward it and pour it out so much so that it continues to fill every jar that comes your way in the name of Jesus. This year is a year of supernatural increase where the new new a lot is a little <laughs> in the name of Jesus, where the new a lot is a little and it will answer to great stewardship. So I pray for the mantle of stewardship to rest upon each and every one of us in Jesus name. Well, this morning, I really wanted us to um, want us to go on this journey with the Lord yesterday. Um, I was sharing with my sister that I was, as I was teaching, it was almost like I was teaching that something else was birthing on the inside of me. And one of the things that was birthing on the inside of me was the reminder of the person of the Holy Spirit, because we have to understand that as we go on this journey to know the Lord, the Bible says in the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, that no one knows the heart of, the God, of God except the Spirit. Amen. It is the Spirit that reveals them to us. And so I'm going to, before I go to, I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians, I'm going to start with John chapter 16. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures, and then we're going to pray in the spirit. Amen. I, I get very excited about praying in the spirit because when we pray in the spirit, we're out of mysteries. Um, and, I'll, and I'll break that down even further, and then we'll just go for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So like my um, my sister, Rev. One, has said, if you're laying in bed, if you just pick yourself up. Amen. Pick yourself up and get ready to, to connect. John chapter 16, right? Um, actually, if you really wanna, um, want, want to understand the, the purpose and, you know, um, of why the Lord is so graciously shared um, Holy Spirit with us and why Holy Spirit is here, I, I need you to study John chapter 14. I want you to actually look at um, John chapter 16 as well. Those are good scriptures for you to go and meditate upon um but because of time i'm not going to be able to go into all of it um as it were um so we'll look at john chapter 16 and i'll i'll take it from verse 7 and then i'm going to pick some other verses within and you know put it within context so john 16 verse 7 says however i'm telling you um nothing but the truth when i say it is profitable good expedient advantages for you that I go away because I um, because if I do not go away, the comforter, counselor, helper, advocate, intercessor, strengthener, standby will not come to you into close fellowship with you. But if I go away, I will send him to you to be in close fellowship with you. To be what in close fellowship with you. you know. The, the Holy Spirit has been given to us to be in close fellowship with us. And I, I love that, you know, Jesus is saying, I'm not just going to go away and this is going to be distance, distant. I, I want Holy Spirit to come on the inside of you. And his death and life made that possible for us. And the scripture gives us, again, please go and study this in detail so that you can really understand the context of how the Holy Spirit relates with the world, right? and also relates with us as the children of God, as the children of God. I want us to go to verse 12 now, you know, in verse eight through to um, 11, it talks about how it relate, uh, how, sorry, excuse me, how Holy Spirit relates with the world, amen? And when we see the world, we're not talking about, um, we're not talking about earth, we're talking about the systems of the world. Amen. In fact, if you look at um, John 14, it talks about how the world cannot receive him because he does not, they cannot see him, right? But then um, in verse 16, it elaborates on 
the positioning of the Holy Spirit when it comes to the things of the world and the systems of this world. But we'll, we'll leave that for a moment and we'll go to verse 12. It says, I have, I have still many things to say to you, right? This is how Holy Spirit relates to you, but you are not able to bear them or take them upon you as to grasp them now. Why? Because we do not have the, the person of the Holy Spirit to actually break them down. The Holy Spirit helps us and gives us the understanding of deep mysteries that without him is very easy for us to go into heresy, right? It's very easy for us to go into religion. But Holy Spirit speaks about, okay, I'll, 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 I'll carry on. Verse 13, and now it begins to say, say this, but when he, the spirit of truth, the truth given spirit comes, he will guide you into all truths. So when it comes to the word of God, we need a guide, <laughs> amen? And the Holy Spirit is the one that guides us into all truth. The whole, uh, and the Amplif Amplified breaks it down like this, the whole, the full truth. So it's not partial truth, it's not my truth, it's not their truth, it's truth, right? For he will not speak his own message on um, his own authority, but he will tell whatever he hears from the Father, he will give the he will give the message that he has been given to him, and he will announce and declare to you the things that are to come that will happen in the future. Amen. That means all prophecy should be led by Holy Spirit. All prophecy should not be even led <laughs> led by what you think the person wants to know. It should be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Verse 14, this is one of, so not only would he lead you into truth, verse 14, it says, he will honor and glorify me because he will take of, of, receive, draw upon what is mine and he will reveal, amen, it to you. Verse 15, everything that the father has is mine. That is what I meant when I said, that he, the Holy Spirit, will take the things that are mine and will reveal them, uh, um, reveal it to you. So we see here that the Spirit of God is a revelator. Amen. He begins to reveal, he begins to guide, but he reveals by guiding us based on the word of God into truth. Amen. And so we see here that for us to actually know God and to know his word, we need to understand the person, right? Not just the person. We also under, need to understand the purpose, the reason why the Holy Spirit is here so that we can really better um, appreciate his ministry in our lives. Amen. We're going to pray in a minute. We're going to pray in a minute. Um, but excuse me, just spell me one second. Here we go. Right. So the, the person of the Holy Spirit is the one that actually guides us into, into this truth. And so what we our prayer, our prayer posture today is, is this. We are asking, Holy Spirit, help us even in our day to understand what you have for us in the name of Jesus. And before we go, sorry, before we go, thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going, let's quickly go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. This is where it says that no eye have seen, no ear has heard, no heart can know what God has in store for us, but he has revealed them to us by his spirit. Verse 10, it says, yet to us, God has unveiled and revealed them, right? And through his spirit, um, sorry, revealed them through his spirit. For the, for the Holy Spirit searches diligently, exploring and examining everything, everything, um, even sounding the profound and the bottomless things of God, the divine counsel and the things hidden and beyond man's scrutiny, right? For what person perceives and understands what passes through a man's thought except the man's own spirit, just as no one discerns, comes to know, and comprehend the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Verse 12, now we have not received, amen, we have not received the Spirit that belongs to the world, but the Spirit, the Holy Spirit who comes from God, that we may realize and comprehend and appreciate um, the gifts, the divine favor and blessings so freely bestowed unto us 
um, from God. Now, I want you to understand that whether we know it or not, there's a spirit of this world and there is a spirit of God. For us to understand and to know God, but also like I was sharing, to know God's intent and plan towards us, we need the spirit of God. We need the spirit of God. I'm, I'm just layering, in, layering some stuff for us this morning and we're gonna pray. Wow, look at the time, right? Um, and then quickly, we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14, right? This is where it talks about prophecy and, and, and praying in the spirit or praying in tongues. It says, earnestly pursue love, eagerly, um, sorry, earnestly pursue love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts, especially the gifts of prophecy. Verse two, for he who speaks in tongues does not speak to man, but to God. Indeed, no one understands he utters mysteries in the spirit, but he who prophesies speaks to man for their edification. Now, I'm not saying prophecy is wrong, but here, and this scripture is not saying praying tongues is wrong or prophecy is wrong. Paul was actually trying to put it in context for us by praying in the spirit, amen, and by praying in tongues, we're speaking directly to God. We're connecting with his heart because there's some things that we lack the capacity to understand but by engaging with god he brings revelation it, it guides us into all truth by the spirit by the spirit and so in this time as we are fasting we're saying god we're not relying on what was we're connecting to you by your spirit so that we can know what is in jesus name i hope you guys are tracking with me again i can't see your faces so i just want you guys to know your journey and with me here what the lord was telling me um uh, yesterday was that there is a, a fresh release, amen, of mysteries that he has hidden for such a time as this, amen, for such a time as this. Paul always talked about this, you know, about mysteries that were hidden, mysteries but that were hidden and was revealed to him, you, you know, right now, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's look at some scriptures that talks about mysteries. Uh, just bear with me one second. We look at... Uh, Colossians chapter one, verse 26, it says the mysteries that were, that has been hit, kept hidden for ages and generation, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. Romans um, chapter 16, verse um, 25 says, now to him who is able to strengthen you by um, my, by my gospel, amen, and by the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of mysteries concealed for ages past. Um, Ephesians chapter three, verse three says, um, that is the mysteries made known to me by revelation as I have or already written briefly. Why am I saying this? I'm sharing the scriptures because just as Jesus spoke, um, spoke about in John chapter 16, I have much to tell you, but you, but um, you don't have the capacity, I'm just paraphrasing here, to be able to understand, understand him, but I am giving you the spirit, amen, who will guide you into all truths. So if you're saying, God, what do, uh, what's going on? I need direction. I want to know you more. I want to da, 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 da. Whatever you want to know from God is the Holy Spirit that guides you into all of this. And, um, and so that's why I want us to, I really believe, I don't know, I, I don't want to say this is, this is me saying this is what we need to do. That's why I really believe the Holy Spirit wants us to spend time praying in the Spirit. Because the truth is, if it's a mystery, it means that you, we lack the comprehension to be able to understand it right? There's that scripture that says, it is the glory of God. Is it the glory? The glory of God to conceal a matter, but the honor of kings to, um, <laughs> no, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the honor of kings to, uh, let me, let me find it, to search it out. Yes, thank you, to search it out. That means when God, could, only kings, amen, only kings can search out what God has concealed. And the Bible actually says that whatever is concealed is concealed for you, right? And your children's children, amen? It is concealed for you and your children's children. And so what we are praying right now, as we are praying in the spirit, you're going to engage with God, amen? Two, on two levels, Holy Spirit speaks of 
and and sorry, you're going to pray in the spirit. I'm going to give us some guidelines in the moment that we have. We're going to go maybe slightly over, right? Get a notepad, amen, or open your phone. Make sure you're sat up. Be ready to receive, right? Be ready to receive. Be ready to receive. A lot of scripture has gone forth. A lot of teaching has go gone forth. Be ready to receive. Understand something. The Holy Spirit is going to give you, guide you into all truths, right? So if there's a specific thing that you're seeking to know the Lord, you know, on or to know God's mind on, put, put that front of center. That's the first thing, right? Put that front of center. Two, uh, so three things. So I've said, get a notepad and pen. If there's something that you, you're praying into God, uh, praying for in terms of you, you need understanding on, put that out. If there's nothing, that's fine. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you into all truth. So he will bring, the Bible says, he not only actually searches the things of man, um, I'm sorry, the things of God, he also searches um, and helps us pray in a way and a manner that is worthy of, of the Lord. That's in um, uh, 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 Romans chapter eight. He searches, he prays with deep groanings, the Bible says, um, for us. So you're going you're gonna to do those, that, those two things. Lastly, you're also going to ask the Holy Spirit to praise the Lord through you. Uh, the Bible says in John chapter 16, it says that he honors and glorifies the Father. Amen. He honors and glorifies the Father. So one of the ways we actually express our worship to the Lord is that he, we honor him by the Spirit. So you might feel like, oh, but, you know, I don't have anything to pray um, for. Oh, yeah, that's the, is that the scripture about it's the um glory of god to conceal a matter uh no yeah proverbs 25 to glory of god to conceal a matter deuteronomy mm. 29 29 backs up um the things that are revealed belongs to us and our children thank you very much thank you very much amen so the things that are revealed belongs to us and our children and i really pray that as you as we journey in this we're going to camp here today and tomorrow actually in, in terms of praying in the spirit just because of time. So first one, a notepad and pen, right? It shows that you're ready to hear and to receive because how many of you have had encounters with the Lord? You're praying, praying, praying. You are so caught up in the moment that you forget to write it down, right? You forget to write it down or you forget to write down a scripture or write down an impression or write down a picture, right? Some, some of you, you might see something in the spirit. You will see some of the, in the spirit. Some of you, it might just be an impression of a word that just keeps going over and over in your heart. Some of you, it might be a scripture that comes to mind. Amen. If you, if you do not pray in the spirit, just start with glory and honor. So first thing, have a notepad and pen to bring out something that you're seeking God for. I'm not just talking about a prayer point. I'm talking about a point that you're stuck on, that you want to gain more insight. It might be a scripture that you want a bit, um, a bit more knowledge on. It might be um, an issue that you're saying, God, I really want to know your mind and your intent. Look at that scripture in John chapter 16 says, the Lord guides you into all truth. And then lastly, right? Um, the third one will be to give praise about the spirit. I'll let you guys know where we get when we get there so where you are right now just begin to magnify the lord begin to magnify the lord begin to magnify him in the time that we have begin to magnify him thank him and now begin to engage in the spirit begin to engage in the spirit and begin to pray and as you're magnifying him just focus your attention on him Focus your heart on him and begin to pray in the spirit. Ramando Hosoto Eki Everebeshkata Eki Avaraba, O Ramanda Yeki Everebeshkoto Eki Avaraba, Muremende Epe Remende Escoto Akavaraba, O Ramande Eshkata Eki Everebeshkoto Eki Avaraba, O Ramande Eshkata Akavaraba Rama, O Remende.
remende eskata akabaraba remende eso asiti eki abaraba remendo o remende eskata eki evere eskata eki abaraba ena masuto eki evere baskuto eki ababa aramando oso koskata eki evere beska aramando oso paramande eskata aramando hoskete eki evere beskata ena masuto eki evere beskata eki abaraba o ramando eskete eki abaraba Yes, Lord, guide us into all truth. Amareme, o ramando heskata akabarama, en namasuto eki everebeskuto eki ababa baba baba ba. Aremende eski eskata eki everebeskata ya. Aramando osuto eki everebeskata eki ababa. En namasuto eki ababa baba baba. Romundo eski eskata akabaraba remende, en namasuto eki everebeskata ya. En namasuto eki ababa baba 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 o remende esata iki everebeskutu iki everebeska ha ramando hosso koskete eki abaraba reme en ne mesuto akabarabanne o rebeskata iki everebeskata ya o rabato osso koskata akabaraba remende en na masuto eki everebesuto ya kaba baba 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 o remende esse koskata eki abaraba hanna Ha remendo o se keskata eki avaraba anna maso koskoto eki avaraba rama o remende esa kavaraba remende yeskete anna maso to eki everebeskata ayaka anna maso to akavaraba ramande eskoto e anna maso to eki everebeskata eki everebeska anda baso koskata eki avaraba remende yeska anna maso to eki apashata eki avaraba remende don't get distracted don't let your mind wander focus in him focus in him focus in him asuto akabaraba anda basuto ekiebere beskutaya enna masuto ekiebere beskutoya aramando hosete ekiabaraba remende esekeskata Ena masuto eki evere besuto akavaraba o remende esete eki evere beskata eki ababa baba baba o ramanda eki evere beskuto eki avaraba reme o ramando husu koskete eki evere beskata ena masuto eki evere beskata ya anda masuto eki evere beskuto eki ababa baba 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 o ramanda eki evere beskuto ya ena masuto eki avaramanda eki Eki evere beskuto, han rabado heskata. Eki evere beskata ya, han ramando hose keskata. Eki ababa baba baba ba, unde meso koskata. Eki ababa rebese, han da baso koskete. Eki evere beskata ya, ena maso koskata. Eki evere beskuta ya, han ramando uso koskete. Eki evere beskuto ya, han rabado heskete. Eki ababa remene ese keskata. Eki ababa rama, o rama Ramando ose keskata eki evere beskoto eki avaraba o ramando ose keskata eki avaraba ramando keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying and da basu koskata ayaka ba 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 o remende eskete eki evere beskata aya ha ramando eskete eki avaraba o remende eskata eki avaraba remende en namaso koskete eki avaraba se to that person who has not been able to sleep uh, because of anxiety attacks. Uh, the Lord is saying even right now that I am breaking the spirit of worry. I am destroying the spirit of worry over you. And the sign of it is that you're not just going to sleep, you're going to enter into rest, uh, into rest, uh, because the yoke of anxiety is breaking off you right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a, a, a trouble to do with finances. 
trouble to do with finances, stole your rest. Uh, and the Lord is saying, I am taking that off you right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, and the Lord is saying that even the, 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 the wisdom, yes, Lord, there's a, a fresh baptism of wisdom that is coming over you, that even in your sleep, that the Lord is revealing secrets, uh, kingdom secrets of how to restore even that financial gap uh, that you have, that has plagued you and stolen rest from you even right now in the name of Jesus. Watch out for it because it's being downloaded over you right now in Jesus' name. Keep praying in the spirit. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Mashote aravaskotu ekiyavaramande orabade eskata ekiyavarabeskata aramando eskata ekiyavarabande enamasoto ekiyavarabarame orabado eskata ekiyavarabaramande orabashkete ekiyavarabande Ande ella masutu eki ababa baba baba ora basuku skata eki ababa remende ora bade skata eki ababa ora mando skata eki ababa reme ora remende esa kaskete eki ababa ande ena masuku skata eki ebebe skata ya ora baskete eki ebebe skata ya ora manda eki ababa no skata ya ora mando skata eki ababa reme Namasoto akabarebeto, a rifisco parifiscuta eki everebescataya, and the bascoto eki everebescataya, kia, a ramando hosu coscate eki avarabae, and Namaso coscata ekabaraba, or rabande escata eki everebescutoya, a ramando escata eki avarabando, or rabande escata eki everebescataya, and Namaso coscate eki everebescuto eki avarabare. Ramando osuto eki evere beskata eki avaraba ena maso pa kasata akavarabande o reveskoto eki avaraba remende o ramando askete eki evere beskata ya ena masuto eki evere beskata ya kavarabande o rebeto aki evere beskoto eki evere beskata ramando osuto eki avaraba remende o ramando eskata ek Father Lord, we don't want to walk uh, in knee deeper. Uh, we don't want to walk waist deeper. Uh, ankle deep is not even a, even even a question. Father Lord, even right now, we want to be overwhelmed. Uh, we submit ourselves uh, to the leadership of your Holy Spirit. Maso aravaskete eki everemesku arremendo oskuto eki everemeskata ya arremendo aki everemeskata eki everemeskuto eki everabarama haramando osukoskete eki everemeskata ya ena maso tu eki everemeskata ya haramando osukoskete eki everemesha oramando osukoskata eki everabar Ramande and Namasuto eki evereves kataya, Haramando esekis kataya kavaraba, Haramando husukuskete eki evereves kataya, Hanamasuto eki evereves kete akavaraba, Uramando usukuskete eki avaraba reme, Urabando usukuskata eki evereves kataya, and Namasuto aki evereves kataya kaba, Haramando heskete eki avarabase, keep going, keep going. And mashe and the basso to a cabarabande. Elama suto eki averebesu, Haramando o supe mende eki averabashka, Hande bescuto eki averebenda, or Rabando eskete eki everebescuto eki avarabare, or Rabando esketaya cavaramande, or remendo o seki pescataya cavaraba, and the basso to eki everebescuto ya cavarabande, or Ramande escota eki avarabaremendo, Haramando o sukoskete eki Barabare, or Rabas Mandi, Eki Avada Basso to Oku Eshata, Hande Escata, Eki Everebesu to Aya, Haremendo Osunto, Eki Everebescuto, Harevescuto, Eki Everebescuto Yaka, Hande Besu Capi Remende, and the Masuto Acabaraba Revese, Haramando Hescata, Eki Everebesca, Haremendo Osukoscuto, Eki Everebesca. 
enama suto ekiye verebeso ande beskoto akabarabane o rebe suto eki e barabare enama sumanda iki e beskota yaka harebe soto akabarabare beso harebe soto harebe samande o rabaskota iki e verebeskota ya o ramando eskota iki e verebeskoto akabarabare me o rebe sokaskete eki e verebesa apande hafiri erimi o ravaskita le mosupe ramando oskafase o ravaskete eki e verebeskoto e la masumene eske esoto akafare o ravaskite eki e verebeskoto akafarnmende o remesuto aki e verebeskata don't let your mind wander engage you at him o rabaso kadibe raban sunta iki en la masumene aqui e verebesco a revescunto aqui venemande o rabascoto e qui e verebesca andie ferimendu o revescuta e qui a frapata na masumende e qui a verabasca ande bescuto a cabarabande o rebede escata e qui e verebesca o ramando e qui e verebascine e qui a verabaso a rimende e se que escata e qui e verebescuta a remendo o soco te e ki avarabando arremende esa ki verebesundo e ki verebesca arramando e ki verebescuto i ki vidibere urrabandi e cosu cosket ai ki verebescuto i ki le mesu manda i ki avarabanso urrabaso cosket e ki avarabasca arremendo iskatae o revescuto e ki verebescunto arremendo i ki avarabarro vosu cosketaia arrevescuto e chi avrà barremende e remende escuto e chi avrà bescuto e chi avrà bande o ramande escutaia cavara bande o ramanda e chi avrà bescuto e la massoto e chi avrà barremendo a ramando o so coschete e chi avrà basso a ramando e se che scotaia e chi avrà bescotaia a remende escute e chi avrà basso anda basso to e chi avrà bescotaia a ramando e chi avrà Ramando oso koskataya, handa masuto eki avaraba ramando osa, handa baso koskete eki everebesa, o ramanda eki everebesundo eki avaba, o remende ese keskata eki everebesuta ya, enda masuto eki everebeskoto eki avaraba, o revesu koskata ya kavaramande, o ramanda eki everebeskoto eki everebesu, handa eki everebesundo ya kav. Baraba, o remende ese que esquete e que abaraba, o rebede ese que esquete e que e nem esinde e que e verebescuto, a remando o suno e que e verebescuta, a remendo o su cosquete e que abarabaso, anda basso pata e que e verebescuto e que abaraba, o remando ese que esquete e que e verebesu, e nem esoto e que abaraba reme, o rebede esquete e que abaraba. Bando el amaso coscuto e qui avaba baba baba ba o rabande e se que escata e qui avara ba keep going keep going masota el la masoto e gavara ba reveso a remende e se que escata e qui e verbesa o ramanda e qui e verbesota el la masumene e se que escata a ramando e qui e verbesca e a gavara ba o remende e se que escata e qui el la masum Mene e ki e verebesco, a ramando o se te e ki e verebesu na ya gavareme, o ramanda e ki e verebesu ndo e ki avarabare, e reveso ta e ki e verebesa, e la maso koskete e ki e verebesco to e ki avaraba, o remende e se keskata e ki e verebesu, e na maso ko asite e ki e verebesca, e ramando o se keskete e ka, I see a dimension, I see a dimension, I see a dimension, see a door open, but I see the enemy trying to stop uh, your ascension into that dimension. Uh, and the Lord is calling you higher. And the Lord is calling you higher. But I, I, I it's almost like I see the enemy trying to, trying to distract, uh, trying to bring what 
whatever it he, he can bring to try to stop you even right now but i see the the lord sending angels as we are praying in the spirit uh, i see the lord sending angels uh, to war against uh, the principalities and powers that have set the mind to say you are only allowed to come this far and even right now i see the host of heaven waging war on your behalf uh, i see the host of heaven waging war on your behalf so continue to press uh, continue to press uh, continue to press uh, we are pressing into the realm of the great and mighty uh, you're pressing into the realm of the great and mighty continue to pray in the spirit even right now the lord says i am not allowing you to settle i am not allowing you to settle i am not allowing you to settle there is more 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 masete ekiyabarabase en la maso badre beso keskete ekiyeberebeskata haramando osokoskete ekiyabarabesa en la maso te ekiyabarabaremende eskataya haramando esokoskete ekiyabarabane there is more 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 marco fish kataye ki evere beskataye ki evere beskuto e ki avarabanda arramando ese kesh kataye ki avarabaso arremendo osumende eskiki esataye ki evere besko enna masunde e ki evere beskataye ki avarabanre orremende ese I see the Lord releasing wisdom for that person who wants to relocate uh, on two levels uh, wisdom on how to even yeah, when uh, this relocation location looks like a complete shift in careers uh, you're moving from one thing that you used to into a new thing that you're not familiar with uh, and the lord is releasing the spirit of wisdom and revelation over you right now in jesus name but i also see on um, someone who is almost like you're trans um you're, you're looking to re also relocate uh, from one city to another if that's you you can you can maybe make yourself known or you can, actually you don't make yourself known just yet but I want you to even just pay attention as you're praying in the spirit right now. There are things being dropped that will also re be revealed through the course of the day. So it's being dropped. Continue to pray in the spirit. Don't just, you can you can listen with your ears as you pray. I don't want you to miss it, but I just want to give a bit of direction spiritually where we are right now. There's, yeah, so he, he is giving you wisdom on how to do that for, for that transition. Um, for, for the one transiting for, um in terms of career and the one transiting in terms of location it's almost like you you're having to move out of an uh, an area you're familiar with and in this place you're going to is almost like you know nobody there for the lord is saying i am the one calling you into this space uh, i am calling you out of where you are because there is more for the place uh, there is more things to show you in this place where you think that you know nobody one one with god i this script this this word or this scripture can 
comes to mind, one with God is a majority. So I see that for you even in right now, but the Lord is giving you wisdom. And it's not that you, um, you, you're not obedient. It's, it's just that you're trying to figure out what the wisdom is. And the Lord right now is releasing it over your life, even right now, in Jesus' name. The Lord also said, for the, the, there's a parent here who is looking for wisdom on how to deal with your children it's almost like you can sense this this spirit of rebellion that was not there before that was not there before and the lord even right now is giving you the language to be able to use uh, to relate with them the principle will not change but the language will, will change uh, 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 the the principle will not change but the attitude the way of communication will change uh, and as you begin to follow the lord and 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 the lord begin to show you uh, how he wants you to raise them up um, even if, even within this generation, you begin to see a mindset shift uh, in the lives of your children in Jesus' name. So press into that. It's dropping it right now as you're praying in the spirit. That, that, that mystery is unraveling right now, and it will be re revealed to you through the course of the day. Just continue. If that's you, just write it down. I've received this. I've received this. I've received this in Jesus' name. Elama supe aramando Ramando eskete eki everebeskataya, Aramando uso koskete eki everebeska, Aramando uso koskata eki everebeskuntaya, Aramando esete eki everebase. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Guys, we're going to please, um, I want to encourage you to carry on, carry this on throughout the day. I know our time is far spent, but for the next few moments, I want you to turn everything, even if you, if your paper seems, seems blank to you. It's it's not blank to your spirit, man. Amen. It is not blank to your spirit, man. The Lord will continue to reveal it. And we're going to keep pressing in for the next couple of days. Just begin to give God praise for that which you received. Uh, begin to give him praise. Thank him. The Bible says the spirit brings honor and praise to the father. So just lift up your voice. And, and, and if, even if it's by praying in the spirit, do you know, you know, when the spirit of God came upon the, the disciples in the upper room, the first thing they did was give God praise uh, by praying in the spirit. So yeah, just give him praise. Maso, aramando eskete ekia verebeskataya, aramando esekeskataya. To that person that's saying, I've received it, I've received it. Just thank God for it. I hear you where you are right now saying, I've received it, I've received it. Yes, God, we thank you. We thank you for that which you have, you have revealed. Uh, we th thank you for that which uh, you've imparted even in this moment. And we thank you for what you're going to reveal and in part even in the next coming days uh, because there is a shift right now there is a shift uh, there is a shift uh, there's a shift thank you for the shift uh, we bless your name oh god in jesus name in jesus name amen amen i know our time is far spent but i want um uh if there's if there's i, I mentioned three things anxiety you couldn't sleep before if that's you just make yourself known we have got we are going to we're going to agree with you. Yes, God. Amen. Father, we thank you for these hands that, that are up. Uh, we thank you that as we were praying in the spirit, you revealed the mystery of rest, uh, the mystery. Daniel, it is very interesting. It was your name that I saw, actually. I should have been, I should have stepped out and caught and called, called, called the name, but I'm glad that you put your hands up. Nancy, Thank you for putting your hand up. And we thank you, Lord, that even today there were no rest, uh, that the things that stole worry from them, even you're bringing wisdom to them. You're bringing rest to them. So through today, they will know your rest uh, and they will receive your wisdom to be able to receive even uh, 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 the wisdom to be able to overcome that which stole their, their rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, I received um, another word for the for the person with relocation um, in terms of job um, and relocation in terms of um, a place. If that's you, quickly put your hand up. If that's you, just so people know. Okay, you see, guys, 
This is what I'm telling, I'm telling you guys. When we pray in the spirit, God reveals. Wow. God reveals. God reveals. Uh, we thank God. Father, we thank you for the wisdom, the spirit of wisdom for those that are shifting careers, uh, for those that are shifting locations. Uh, we thank you for rest. Uh, we thank you for wisdom. We thank you, Lord, because you have revealed them. You've revealed it to us as we pray in the spirit and through the course of the day, days and through the course of the coming uh, 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 coming days, the wisdom that they need to make this transition in your way, not according to your way, shall be revealed to them in Jesus' name. And I thank you very much, guys, for making yourself known. This will just, this is not to show off, guys. This to, is to encourage everybody else um, that might not have re received something um, uh, 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 that is to their understanding yet. This is to let you know that you have received something to your spirit. There was a third one. I just, I just forgot. Um, what was the third one? Um, relocation. Yes, the parent, right? You might not want to, uh, <laughs> that might be very personal to you because your child might be actually on this call, right? But if that's you, we just pray over you right now in Jesus' name. We pray, and you can reach out to a Rev. One or the leaders at Eleuthera to, to let them know, and they can help you pray into it. Um, but trust me, the Lord has revealed that to you even right now. He's giving you the wisdom that out for the language um, and, and the way to communicate. And we pray over you right now that the courage to do it, even though it might seem silly, that is almost like, you know, there, there's some things God tells you to do, like how God tells a general to go into the dirtiest river, um, a general with leprosy to go into the dirtiest river and says he will receive healing. And not just once, he did it seven times, imagine, right? And yet that healing came. It might, it, it's going to feel silly, but Lord, we thank you, Lord, that the foolish things you have given uh, you have given to this parent shall be wisdom that would bring that child out of rebellion into right relationship out of rebellion into righteousness with you in Jesus name that this children will call their parent blessed because they have parented them according to the wisdom of God in Jesus name now lastly i'm going to say this if you have received anything just go i've received type it in the chat Go, I've received it. I've received it. I've received it. Come on. Come on. Type it in the chat. If you have done that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Elizabeth. Amen. I've received it. Awesome. 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 Only Rev. One, beautiful. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Guys, can I encourage you that through the day, right, when you sense the utterance, just pray in the spirit. It could be five minutes. It could be an hour. Press into this. Press into this. When the Lord... Um, encouraged me to pray, uh, to study on the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you can feel like, oh, I've done the study a number of times. Look, when the Lord calls you back to the word on um, something that you know is because he wants to give you fresh revelation. Amen. He wants to expound on what you know. Um, that's why sometimes if you look at your journey through education, that you learn certain things two plus two is four and then you get, get up then you begin to sh learn bud mass <laughs> i remember bud mass that totally messed me up right and then before you know it the formulas get a bit more more um intricate right but the foundation is there so sometimes what god is doing even through this is elevating your understanding in this area so through the day pray in the spirit have your notepad open ready to receive from the lord in Jesus' name. I'm going to hand over back to Reverend Wanu. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you so much for that time. We are people of the spirit. We speak in the spirit. We pray in the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to share a testimony that came in. Um, I think I shared a little bit of it yesterday. But in the person's own words, hear it so you can celebrate and receive yours in Jesus' name. It says, God has been so faithful I started this fast, not knowing what to expect, but knowing God had told me to trust him this year. Then there's a bit about, okay, I'm going to skip that bit. She now says, um, today I want to share my healing. I, I had preeclampsia when I had my son in April, 2021. And since then I've been on blood pressure medication. Initially, my doctor had told me it would be six months of medications before my blood pressure would regulate itself back, but it's been two years. 
My blood pressure was not controlled on the meds. I would still run high. Most days I would wake up with debilitating headaches and just feeling and just feeling the feeling of being unwell. I would double dose my meds plus Advil just to get it down. On January 8, I realized I had not taken my pills but felt okay. I decided to check and it was 123 over 89. For those of you that are medically inclined, you know what that means. I screamed because I don't think I've seen 120s in two years without pills. I told my husband, I was so sh I was shocked that God would heal me without me specifically praying for it. God is healing. God is healing people. I know it because he healed me today. I took my blood pressure this evening after still not taking my meds since January 7th, and it's even lower. Help me thank God, guys. God is indeed good. Can we thank God for that testimony? Can we thank God for that testimony? the healer and I pray that even God that is that healed her will heal those of you that are believing God for healing in your physical bodies in your organs in your heart in all the things that need healing in your mind in the name of the Lord Jesus I, I believe God for healing in the name of the Lord Jesus even healing of uh, strange growths in the body, abnormal growths. In the past couple of years, I've been hearing all kinds of things about women, reproductive systems and things like that. The Lord God, who is our creator, who is our great physician in the name of the Lord Jesus, bring you healing. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 58, that one of the blessings of fasting as God prescribes is that your health will, sp will spring forth speedily. Your health will spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Cluster headaches, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Migraines, go leave the bodies in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your health springs forth speedily in the name of the Lord Jesus, your health, digestion issues, your health spring forth speedily in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, oh God, even the ones that I haven't called, you know where your, your children need a tune-up. Would you, Lord God, stretch forth your hand to heal in the name of the Lord Jesus, your holy son, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Uh, I remember we're praying in the spirit, favorite scripture, building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the spirit. The Lord grants you utterance in the name of Jesus. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. I think tomorrow is the last class that Reverend, last prayer session that Reverend Ade, tomorrow's Friday, right? Uh, Reverend Ade is taking with us in Jesus name. All right, guys, have a graced day. Wait upon the Lord, your strength is renewed. Shalom.